flag here at North Booksboro for the 93rd time and final time for an NASCAR Winston Cup race. The green flag is waving and the Tyson Holly Farms 400 is underway. starter Jeff Gordon leads lap number one Bobby Hamilton now moves up to challenge 10 must grade for second Hamilton has second place, Musgrave in third, Mark Martin fourth, and Ernie Irvin is in fifth position, and Hamilton looks like he's ready to challenge for the lead. Taking a look, there comes Earnhardt trying to get on the inside of Michael Waltrip, trying to follow Rusty Wallace through that hole. Inside. And a battle for the lead. Five to three. That's a battle for third position and also a battle for the lead, yes. Bobby Hamilton comes up inside of uh, Jeff Gordon and takes the lead. Boy, he got a great bite off the corner. That looks like that SCP Pontiac is hooked up today. I talked to Bobby Hamilton down in the garage here and I said, how's the car? He said, very, very good. I'll agree with him. This is Mark Martin's roof cam. He's running in third position. Up ahead is Jeff Gordon and the leader, Bobby Hamilton. Meanwhile, Dale Earnhardt continues to try to move up. You see, he's gotten around the 21 of Michael Waltrip, still behind Rusty Wallace. Michael Waltrip trying to get inside to Bobby Hillen. See, Ted Musgrave's pole sitter extremely high up in three and four. Oh, they're close already. This is eighth and ninth. Rusty is eighth, Dale ninth. And looks like that Ted Musgrave is slipping back badly, huh? Yes, it is. He car appears to be loose. Like I said, his car was fast in qualifying. He hoped it would be good for the race, but it's definitely a different setup for the race than what you use in qualifying. Slid back to ninth position, Ted Musgrave has. Earnhardt takes a look inside of Rusty Wallace at the end of the straightaway, takes the position easily. Slides up, here comes Wallace trying back, but he can't do it. Earnhardt gets a good night off the turn and takes off. So Dale Earnhardt now up to seven. And look at Ernie Irvin. Irvin has closed right up on the back bumper of Jeff Gordon. Takes a look in that 28, the Alvin car. Started in fifth place. This car has been good in since they unloaded it here on Friday at the beginning of practice. Once again, Ernie Urban tries to work inside of Jeff Gordon. Didn't have the momentum build up there in the corner to take the position on the straightaway, and so Urban continues to run in third place. But how about Ted Musgrave? He's fallen back, Jerry. Well, he has, Bob, and I talked to Howard Combs, talked to crew chief, and Ted hasn't said anything to the team at all on the radio, but just from them watching, they can presume his car may be a little bit loose getting in the corner, tight in the middle and loose off, and with uh, the rains last night, that's a problem a lot of guys are going to have at least before the first pit stop here today. Falling back to 10th position, and uh, Sterling Marlin is trying to take that spot away from him. Ernie Irvin still working side by side of Jeff Gordon. He's going to get it. Ernie Irvin goes to second. Now he sets his eyes on that Pontiac. And at the very same instant that was going on, Dale Earnhardt was passing Derek Coke, moved up into sixth place. So 13 laps have been completed. Bobby Hamilton has put his STP Pontiac out front of Ernie Irvin. Jeff Gordon, Mark Martin, and now Dale Earnhardt, who has moved to fifth position. We'll be right back in just a moment.
out here in North Wilkesboro because of debris on the racetrack. 20 laps are in the books. Bobby Hamilton at the front of the field. Now, will they pit, Ned? I don't they, know. Things they did not. No, they didn't. They've already passed that. Let's go to the pits and Jerry Punch. As you watch these cars single file, the big concern here early on, at least from the Goodyear engineer standpoint, was tire wear. You know, this track is very, very abrasive. And the rains that fell yesterday in conjunction with the, the, the jet dryers, one of the engineers said it's like having the, the track pressure wash. The rain falling, the high velocity wind blowing out of the jet dryers basically blew any rubber the track had off. And they were very concerned here in the spring about tires. They can only go about 70 laps. The 42 car out pit road. And of course, Kyle Petty, he will come in and change right side tires. You see the crew working on that Coors Light Silver Bullet car. Kyle, who had a great run last week at Martinsville. Let's go to John Curtin. Jerry, the reporter is Kyle has complained of a loose condition right side tires at this time didn't see if they made a chassis adjustment but the signboard comes back out so we would assume that kyle would come back in and change left side tires the next time around and we could not see if they like maybe took a rubber out of the right front or made any other adjustments let's go to uh, jerry punch well, that's what we're going to see happen here off and on today john talking about the tires a moment ago goodyear actually brought the softer left side tire here than what they had here in the spring. The feeling is if the car slides, it tears the tires off. Here is Sterling Marlin in to change right side tires. The 23 car is in of Jimmy Spencer. The Kodak Film Chevrolet getting right side tires. They will also change left side tires. Under caution for the first time today here on lap 23, the final Tyson Holly Farms 400 on the start of Walkford Speedway. We'll be right back. 